So today, we are making what is considered to be the greatest fish recipe from Spain. Like seriously, you go into any restaurant here in the Iberian Peninsula and you'll almost always find this dish on their menu. We're talking bacalao a la vizcaína. Now this is a recipe that hails from the beautiful region of País Vasco in the north of Spain and a dish that's filled with so many incredible bold flavors. We're talking perfectly cooked cod in extra virgin olive oil with a roasted red bell pepper sauce. The recipe is very easy to make and it's all done in just 30 minutes, folks. Serve the Spanish cod next to some roasted potatoes and a bottle of Spanish red wine and you got yourself one heck of a classic Spanish meal. Let's begin by getting our ingredients ready to make the sauce. I'm going to roughly chop one small onion, roughly chop four cloves of garlic, roughly chop one large tomato that's been washed and patted dry. and we'll grab four jarred roasted red bell peppers and then roughly chop them. Then I'm gonna grab a large fry pan, heat it with a medium heat, and add in two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, which is 30 milliliters. After a couple minutes, I'm gonna add in the chopped onion and the chopped garlic and we'll mix the onion and garlic around that way they're fully coated in that olive oil and it's very important to mix this continuously that way the ingredients don't brown too quickly and they all evenly saute. After about three minutes and the onion is nice and translucent and that garlic lightly sauteed, I'm gonna add in the chopped tomato and we'll give it a quick mix. That way everything's evenly mixed together. And at this point, you don't have to mix this continuously as the juices from the tomato are gonna stop the onion and garlic from cooking. But make sure to get in there every minute or so. That way the tomato is evenly sauteing. After a couple minutes and the tomato is lightly sauteed and it's nice and soft, I'm gonna add in the chopped up roasted red bell peppers half a teaspoon of sweet smoked Spanish paprika, which is a little over one gram. As always, the Spanish paprika that I'm using is from Kiva. You'll find a link where you can get some in the description box below. And if you buy it from that link, you'll also get 25% off your order. And we'll season everything with sea salt and freshly cracked black pepper. And we'll give it one final mix. That way everything's evenly mixed together. And we're gonna go for about 30 seconds here. This is gonna help bring the aromatics out of that paprika. Then we'll remove the pan from the heat and we'll leave our vegetables to sit here at room temperature just for a couple minutes. That way they can slightly cool off. Once the vegetables have slightly cooled off, I'm gonna add them into a tall plastic cylinder to make this sauce. You can also use a food processor or even a blender. And using a handheld mixer, I'm gonna blend all the ingredients until we end up with a beautiful creamy sauce. And that's the exact texture you want from your sauce, a beautiful creamy goodness. If you see that yours is a little bit too thick, just add in a couple tablespoons of water. For the next step, let's start heating the oil to cook the cod. I'm gonna heat a large fry pan with a medium heat and add in about one third cup of extra virgin olive oil, which is 80 milliliters. At the same time, I'm gonna heat the pan that we cook the vegetables in with a low heat and add in the creamy roasted pepper sauce. While the sauce is simmering and the olive oil is heating up, let's start getting the cod ready. I've got a filet of cod here. This is 14 ounces, which is about 400 grams. And I did buy it frozen and thawed it out. Of course, you can totally use fresh cod here as well as any other type of firm white fish. Either way, you wanna make sure to pat it completely dry with paper towels to remove any of the excess moisture in the fish. That way later on when we cook it in the olive oil, it can absorb all the flavors. Then I'm gonna cut the piece of cod into two evenly sized fillets and season them with sea salt and black pepper just on one side. Then we'll add in some all-purpose flour into a shallow bowl 
and we'll coat the cod fillets in the flour, making sure they're evenly coated all around. And then by taking this step, it's not only gonna give the cod fillets a beautiful crispy texture on the outside once they're fried, but that flour also protects the fish. That way once it's cooking, it stays nice and moist and it doesn't dry up. Once the cod fillets have been coated, I'm gonna add them into the pan with the hot olive oil, making sure they're both in a single layer. And I'm gonna go for about three and a half minutes per side on the cod fillets to end up with perfectly cooked cod. The thickness of the fillets I'm using are one and a half inches, which is about four centimeters. Of course, if the fillets you're using are a little bit thinner, go for about three minutes per side. And if they're a little bit thicker, go for four minutes per side. Once the cod fillets are perfectly cooked through, once again it was about three and a half minutes per side, I'm gonna remove them from the pan and set them aside. All right, let's move back to the roasted red pepper sauce. It's been simmering on a low heat while we've been cooking our cod fillets and at this point, all the flavors have developed and this dish is ready to be assembled. I'm gonna remove the pan from the heat, add some of the sauce into a serving dish, And we'll top it off with one of the cod fillets and some fresh parsley. Check it out, our bacalao a la vizca has done a beautiful cod dish from the Basque country in the north of Spain. Super easy to make, incredible presentations, and let me tell you, it's gonna have the most incredible depth of flavors to it. Let's give it a try and see how it turned out. Once again, folks, bacalao a la Vizcaína. Here we go. Lord almighty, it is so good. You know, I've had this dish so many times in my life, but every time I eat it, it surprises me how good it is. You know, it's very easy to make, comes together in 30 minutes, and the concentration of flavors are out of this world. Give this a try at home, like I told you earlier, next to some roasted potatoes and a bottle of Spanish wine, specifically from La Rioja, you're gonna have yourself an amazing meal. Really quick before I go, shout out to a couple of my patrons, Justin Zollers, Georgia Candiotti, Kelly Larang, Mary B. Markovich, and Ellen Young. Again, guys, thank you so much for being patrons of Spain on a Fork you know how much I appreciate you. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button as it really helps out the channel. Leave me a comment below and don't forget to share this video with your family and friends that we are Spain on a four community can continue to grow. Till the next time, hasta luego.